In this video tutorial, I will show you how to restore the default domain group policy and the default domain controller's group policy. In order to restore this GPO to default value, we have to use the built-in utility name DCGPO fix. It is highly recommended that you do not modify the default domain policy or default domain controller policy unless it is necessary. Instead, Create a new GPO at the domain level and set it to override the default settings in the default policies. DC GPO fix command can restore either or both the default domain policy and the default domain controller's policy to their default settings. Of course, you must be a domain administrator to perform this task. So let's see how we can do it. First of all, I'm going to open Windows PowerShell. With the PowerShell, I'm going to type a command dc gpo fix and then press enter. You are about to restore default domain policy and default domain controller policy for the following domain name mylab.local. Do you want to continue? Press Y to continue. Now this will restore the default domain policy as well as default domain controller policy. But suppose if you want to restore only default domain controller policy that time use this syntax dc gpo fix slash target colon dc and if you want to restore only domains default policy that time you can run command dc gpo fix slash target colon domain but for this demonstration we want to restore default domain policy as well as default domain controller policy and that's why i'm going to press y and enter now that will give you a one warning this operation will replace all user rights assignment made in the chosen GPUs. This might cause some server application to fail. Do you want to continue? Press Y. Yes. And now you are done. The default domain controller policy was restored successfully. And default domain controller policy is also successfully restored. You will now notice any changes to the GPU have been removed or revert back to default settings. But before restoring default domain policy and the default domain controller policy, make sure you take a backup of your group policy objects first. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.